Hello Year 9, here are the answers to the lesson I set you on Thursday. We've been looking at the organisation of life and how cells make tissues, and tissues make organs, and these make organ systems. The first organ system we looked at was the digestive system. And this was recapped in the live video that took place on Monday, so if you didn't make it to the live lesson, watch that video too. I was very proud of everyone on this slide, everyone had a go at the question, everyone remembered something about the digestive system. The next slide was designed to find out what you already know, and some interesting information was shared, so thank you. At this point though, I would like to say that even if you can only think of one word that links to blood, that would be prior knowledge. So don't skip questions like this, because the more information you can give to me, the better I can design my lessons to help you. A slide three says that the circulatory system has three main parts, the heart, blood and blood vessels. The heart pushes the blood around and the vessels keep the blood going where it should, like hose pipes with water. And the blood carries things around the body. The words that you highlighted, circulatory, means related to circulation. Circulation means moving in a circle or circuit or flowing, so blood flows in a circuit around the body. Vessels mean tubes, so in this case tubes carrying blood. Blood vessels are tubes that the blood moves through. Materials are things that need moving around the body. Amoeba are fresh water, one-celled organisms, living things that are only one cell big. They don't need a circulatory system because the materials that they need can move straight into the cell. Circulatory system, the other word you've highlighted, is the group of organs and tissues that work together to circulate materials around the body to our cells. Now moving on to slightly bigger animals, but still very small compared to humans, insects take oxygen straight into the cells of their body by diffusion. Insects have little openings on their bodies called spiracles. Instead of lungs, the air moves inside through these openings. Because their bodies are fairly small, blood travels slowly around the, blood, uh, the body cavity. And this is called an open circulatory system because the blood is not inside any blood vessels. Words that you've highlighted on this slide um, body cavity. These are internal spaces of multicellular organisms. The circulatory system is a group of organs and tissues working together to circulate materials around the body to our cells. Okay, moving on again. Other animals like fish, worms and humans have a closed circulatory system. This means that the blood flows in the vessels. Blood carries oxygen and nutrients to our cells that need... Um, so need uh, the cells that need it and make the blood makes sure that it goes to all the places it needs to go. Words that you highlighted on this slide, arteries are blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart to the body tissues. Capillaries are the tiny blood vessels that connect arteries and veins together. Okay, so this question makes you think about the difference between an open and closed circulatory system. So the difference is that an open system has no blood vessels and a closed system does have blood vessels. So you have to ask yourself, do humans have blood vessels? The answer is yes, so they must have a closed circulatory system. Okay, humans have a double circulatory system, which is more efficient at exchanging materials with the cells. Oxygenated blood is blood that has a lot of oxygen in it. It has passed to the lungs to collect the oxygen and it's now going to the tissues. Deoxygenated blood has much less oxygen in it. I'm not willing to say none, but it has been to the tissues and swapped the oxygen for carbon dioxide to take back to the lungs. Keeping them separate means that diffusion is faster in the cells and in the lungs. Okay, this question starts with the word explain which means tell me why something is the way it is. Some of the marks are for using the table to tell me the differences and some of the marks are for telling me why they are different. So fish have a single circulatory system, which means the blood flows around the body at lower pressure and less blood flows to the body tissues. Oxygenated and deoxygenated blood can mix. This is because fish are smaller and the distance between the air and the cells is small. Humans have a double circulation, which means blood flows in two circuits around the body. Blood is at higher pressure in humans, so the blood can move further. There is a higher blood flow in the tissues. Two circuits also means you can have a lower pressure going to the lungs, which is a shorter distance, and to get more oxygen. But, and you can have a bigger pressure then going around the body to the tissues. 
Okay, so this slide shows you what the blood vessels would look like if you sliced through them like a sausage. I've already told you the meaning of artery and capillary, but another word you highlighted here was substantially, which means considerable a considerable amount. So the picture of the capillary is considerably more magnified than the artery and the vein. In real life, the, the capillary is much, much smaller than the other two vessels. Here you can see hand-drawn versions of the blood vessels, which make it a little easier to compare them. You can see the arteries have thick muscular walls and a small lumen. Veins have thinner walls and larger lumen. Capillaries are one cell thick and have very small lumen. Words that you highlighted on this slide were lumen and permeable. We've looked at all the other words somewhere else. Lumen means cavity. So in this case, the size of the hole running up the middle of the vessel. Imagine a straw and the size of the middle of the straw. Permeable means that things can pass through it. If the walls are permeable, they will let glucose, oxygen and carbon dioxide pass through them. I've just noticed elastic fibers as well. So fibers are like the material that it's made of and elastic just means stretchy. So arteries are made of stretchy types of cells and things like that. Okay, so the next few slides were quiz questions. See how much you picked up. Which blood vessel has a thick outer wall and a thick layer of muscle? That was the artery. Which of these four animals would not have a blood system? So the amoeba was one cell big it does not have a blood system which animal has an open blood system so the open blood system had no blood vessels that was the insect which animals have a closed circulatory system so which ones do have blood vessels the shark and the human and then some grade booster questions so what is the function of the circulatory system so it's actually got more th more jobs than you maybe would consider the first job is to transport materials around the body, things like oxygen, carbon dioxide and nutrients. Your blood uh, and circulatory system also maintains a constant body temperature. So if you get too hot, it will cool you down and if you get too cold, it will warm you up. It also maintains the fluid balance in the body and clotting open wounds. So if you cut yourself, then your circulatory system will have to get platelets in the blood to that wound so that it can make a scab. True or false, all animals have blood. False. True or false, all blood is red. False. Insect blood does not carry oxygen. What are we going for? False. Human blood carries oxygen. True. Human blood contains red and white blood cells. True. Humans have a single circulatory system. False. Veins have larger lumen than arteries, that's true. Veins have thicker walls than arteries, that's false. Oh, insect blood does carry oxygen. I got one wrong, but well done to you. You all had a good go at that. Okay, well done for those of you that are remembering to hand in your assignments on Google Classroom. It does make it faster for me to feed back if you hand in your assignments. I don't have to then spend time trying to work out who did it and who didn't do it. And this picture is right. You are amazing. I'm very impressed at how well you're doing, how much you're trying. Don't forget that you can contact me anytime during the day, school day, to get um, help. Just send me an email or send me a message on Google Classroom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video.